You write really well about the source and vibe, especially like vibe with Quincy Jones and how it really had a different aesthetic to it. And you, you write about some of the, especially women who really fought for um, certain sections for the fashion section, you know, featured a lot of diversity. You talked about Slick Rick, you know, not everyone's from New York, not every rapper's from New York, not every rapper's from New York and LA, you know, he has the London background and just the idea about how much of a game changer that, you know, vibe was. And you, one of your chapters is not contrast, but like put side by side, kind of like this backpack rap and like ghetto fabulous, you know, which you write about like ghetto fabulous people understand adversity and there's a lot to it and shoot the book doesn't make as much sense without your the chapter about you know the luxury law the history of black men you know being judged for their clothes literally being only allowed to wear you know certain clothes on certain days and and those type of things and it's just it's a really you you mix history you mix i guess sociology with also just really cool stuff about fashion 